Hello Fingsters, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, let's learn how to find the count of the occurrences of the elements in a column. For example, consider this data frame here. So, uh, we have a dictionary which we are converting to the data frame. And uh, if you see, this has three columns. The first column contains the names of the candidates. The second column contains the gender information of these candidates that are some are fe uh, females, some are males and you can see that uh, some values are NAND here. That is they are null values. Now uh, when we check the rank, uh, rank parameter is given 3 for some people, 4 for some people, it is NAND for some values and 4, 5, 6, so on. So now let's say we have to find how many times each element has occurred how do we do that we can do that using print of df of give the column name let's say i want to find how many uh, male and how many female candidates are present i'll say df of gender dot values underscore count of now let's run the program series object as uh, okay so sorry it has to be value underscore counts okay now let's run the program okay so you can see that there are five male candidates and there are two female candidates. Let's verify. Two female candidates, yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five male candidates. But however, the NAN values are not included here. They are dropped. If you want to include the NAN values as well, you know, to get an overall count for some reason, then you can use this parameter drop NA is equal to false within the value underscore counts function. Now let's see what happens. So you get the count of NAN value as well. Now let's say you want to find uh, the occurrences, you know, the count of occurrences of the values present in the name column. So what do you do? You can just say name here. You can keep this drop NA is equal to false or you can omit it. Doesn't make any uh, like difference for this column because uh, there are no NP, like no null values there. So now when I run this program, okay, we can see that the George, the candidate George or the information with respect to candidate George has been duplicated like it ha it occurs two times whereas for all the other candidates, the information uh, appears only once. Okay. Now let's say you want to, uh, you know, find the count of occurrences of combination of columns like you know alleys and f this makes one combination something like this so how do you do that uh, you can simply merge it like this comma okay now you give the gender or uh, let's say we can uh, let's say uh, we are grouping it via rank okay so now let's run this program as you can see the occurrences of c alice three bob four like uh, you know steve and nan you know they have co combined these two groups and then we are finding the occurrences there in in case like uh, george you can see that because there are two george you can see george 4 is one occurrence george nan is another occurrence and uh, they are uh, counting the count of the occurrences of combination of columns okay now this is not the only way like the uh, dot value underscore counts you can also do it with the group by function so to do it with a group by function, what you'll have to do is uh, first let's uh, try to find the count of uh, 
the occurrences in a single column and then let's try multiple columns as well so now we'll say df dot group by let's say we want to group by name and then dot uh, Mm. yes we'll group by name and uh, then we'll say dot size of so you can see similarly uh, like similar to value dot counts we get the count of occurrences using this method as well alternatively you can also use size dot count of but the format in which you receive the values or the output will be slightly different note the difference okay so it is like uh, based on the name column with respect to gender and rank they are giving you the count okay so this is slightly different format but uh, again it gives you the count not that it doesn't give you any count something like that okay now let's say uh, you have to group by two columns okay i'll use size for simplicity now if you want to group by two columns let's say name and rank how do you do that you can just use this notation here and now when we run we should be able to get uh, the occurrences with respect to the combination of multiple columns okay but now uh, let's see which is the function that we'll have to use in uh, different cases okay so case 1 let's see uh, let's say we have to find the count of occurrences of a single column so we have uh, dot uh, df dot value underscore counts and uh, we have uh, df dot group by size and also we can also do df dot group by dot count so let's see which is a feasible solution that which is the best solution that we can use when we have to find uh, the count have a look at this program in this program we are using a uh, time module to measure the time so if you see if you start is equal to perf counter ns so this starts the counter we'll then run uh, the this command after that we'll stop the counter now we'll take the difference of the end time and start time and uh, that will give us uh, the amount of uh, time it has taken to execute uh, this particular command now uh, if you see the this perf underscore counter underscore ns gives us the output in nanoseconds okay so i've done the same for every function so here uh, we are using df dot group by dot count and here we are using df of name dot value underscore counts so uh, as you can see we are testing for case one that is when we have uh, only one column okay now we are finding the count of occurrences in a single column so let's see what happens when we run this program so as you can see uh, when we run this program every uh, every single function takes a different time uh, group by dot size and group by dot count have nearly equivalent values however value underscore counts has uh, less it has less execution time so if you see it is around uh, 7 lakh 41700 nanoseconds whereas all these have taken around 21 lakhs and this one has taken 29 lakhs nanoseconds so it is uh, obvious that uh, group by dot count takes lesser time because as if you remember the output they have output with respect to every single column but group by dot size takes slightly more time because you know the extra columns are anyways eliminated from the output you know that operation takes some extra time right so group by dot size 
uh, has 29 lakh seconds nanoseconds time and a group by dot count has around 21 lakhs nanoseconds time and uh, this value underscore count takes around 7 lakh so if you are finding the count of occurrences of the elements in a single column it's better to use uh, dot value underscore counts now let's go to the second case where we have to get the count of occurrences uh, when uh, with a combination of columns so let's say i'll say it as name and uh, rank for example okay and uh, here as well we'll specify name and rank and again name and rank let's see what happens when we run this program okay we have an error here okay now so we can see that the value underscore counts takes around 9 lakhs nanoseconds time however uh, group by dot count takes around 7 lakh and uh, this one size takes around 9 lakh uh, sorry 11 lakhs time if you see the time taken by value underscore counts has increased however the values from group by has decreased now similarly now we have uh, taken two columns into consideration that is we are uh, taking the combination of two columns now so as and when the columns increase the number of columns increase here the time taken by the group by functions that is group by dot size and group by dot count would decrease and the time taken by value underscore counts would increase so we can say that when you want to find the count of occurrences of the element from one column we can use value underscore counts however when you want to find the value i mean uh, the count of occurrences of the elements from the combination of multiple columns it is better to use either group by dot size or group by dot count based on the kind of output you require that's all in this video thank you so much for watching we hope this has been informative